What if you want to transform your sunny day video footage into a rainy night scene? Before we kick off, we'll need to gather for visual elements. We're starting with this video clip for the opening shot. Alongside that, we'll need overlays for lightning clouds, thunder, and rain. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Now that you've imported the clip onto the timeline, the next step is transforming it from day to night using some color grading. To start, go to the Windows menu and open the Lumetri color panel. In the Basic Corrections section, lower the exposure and slightly increase both the contrast and highlights. It's a good idea to bring down the shadows a bit and boost the blacks to add more depth. Don't forget to shift the temperature toward the blue side to create that cooler nighttime vibe. Here's a look at how the clip appears before and after the color grading. If it doesn't feel quite right, feel free to tweak other parameters until you're happy with the result. Next with the video clip selected, head over to the effects panel and search for lighting effects. Double click it to apply. Now go to the effect controls panel, you can reposition the light and change the ambient light color to something with a bluish tint. Adjust the angle of light based on the direction of your shadows for a more natural look. In the Light 1 section, you can also adjust parameters like Center to change the light's position, Major or Minor Radius to adjust its scale, as well as Intensity and Focus to your preference. You can zoom out on the preview monitor to get a better sense of how it all looks. Once that's set, bring the Lightning Clouds overlay into the timeline, adjust its position, and then set its Blend Mode to Screen to blend it with the scene. To add a thunder effect, move the clouds overlay up one track, and find the exact frame where you want to place the thunder overlay, then drop it on Video Track 2. To remove the black background, set Blend Mode to Screen. You can also tweak the rotation value to adjust the angle as needed. Next, move the element to the desired position. Now, locate another frame where the lightning flash appears, drop in another overlay, and repeat the same steps. Now, let's bring in the rain overlay and place it on video track 4. Trim any unnecessary parts of the clip. To remove the black background, set its blend mode to screen as well. If the rain feels too overpowering, bring the opacity down to around 35%. You can really take this sequence to the next level by incorporating sound effects. Add the rain sound that came with the overlay and layer it with lightning and thunder sound effects to create an immersive atmosphere. Next, select all three visual layers and move them up one track. Hold Alt or Option key and drag your video clip up to Video Track 2 to duplicate it. With the duplicated clip selected, go to Effect Controls panel and remove the Lumetri color effect. Under the Lighting Effects section, change Light 2's type to Omni and set its color to orange. Increase the light intensity and decrease the major radius a little. Then position it near the center of the window. Zoom in on the preview monitor for more precise control. In the opacity section, click the rectangle icon to create a four-point polygon mask. Adjust the mask size and increase mask feather value to blend it smoothly with the scene. To keep the mask aligned with the clip as the scene progresses, activate auto tracking by clicking the stopwatch next to mask path and then hitting the play button to generate keyframes. This can take some time depending on the clip length, but you can always tweak the mask position afterward if needed. For better realism, lower the rain's opacity to 20%. Now, based on the intensity of the lightning, you'll want to create environmental light changes. To do this, from Project Panel, create a new adjustment layer that matches the frames where the thunder overlay is active. Apply the Lumetri color effect to this adjustment layer and use the exposure parameter to simulate lightning flashes. Start by clicking the stopwatch next to exposure, and frame by frame, increase the exposure during bright moments, and lower it when the light dims. Notice, password is Flick Night. Let's duplicate the adjustment layer for next lightning flash, reset exposure keyframes, and repeat the same steps as before. 
By now, the entire environment should feel like it's responding to the lightning strikes. To give more direction to the light, click on pen icon to create a free bezier mask over the adjustment layer, then increase the mask feather and expansion values to blend the lighting seamlessly. Follow the same process for any other lightning overlays. And this is what you'll end up with.